Constructing your life is about much more than just building a bank account. Each week, join real estate entrepreneur and mindset coach Austin Linney as he interviews guests who are constructing their dream lives and impacting the world around them on a daily basis. If you're an entrepreneur or wanting to start a business, or you just want to hear motivating stories of how others have overcome the odds, you are in the right place. And now for your host, Austin Linney. Hello, everybody. This is Austin Linney with your Friday rant. What I'm going to talk today about, guys, is movement, growth, and playing bigger, right? It's these simple things. I've, I've come to the conclusion that I think 90% of our issues are, are predicated on the fact that we overcomplicate everything, okay? And when I mean everything, I mean everything. The brain has an amazing way to lay on complexity within your mind to create a, a system where you almost don't do anything because it's become too convoluted or complex. So I have some tips for you about health, business, life in general. And um, I'll start with business. So one of the things that I think is super important is, you know, when you're syndicating, we're, we're in the process of doing a fund right now, you know, many things, you know, these are extremely complex SEC regulated lawyer backed um, contracts with uh, fiduciary responsibilities and so on and so on. And it, it's very tempting to uh, create mechanisms within the clause, whether it's waterfalls and, you know, so many things that you could do. But the cleaner, the better. The easier to explain, the better. If you cannot explain what you are doing in a couple of words, a couple of sentences, then it's too complex. And you let the lawyers take run with it. If you can clearly play everything off of the long game if and, and understand that the simpler that you can do it, the better. Because what you don't understand is on the forefront, you might think that you're doing good, but you're also hurting your accounting by making it complicated. You're hurting your pitch because you can't explain it to the staff. You're hurting this because you don't know what you're doing because you've lost it in the complexity. So my hope to you is that you would make it as simple as possible. 70-30 split, uh, preferred return, just simple things that you can model other things after that people see. Okay. And, and I'll use this in another context. Uh, I consult on a lot of projects where they are uh, doing an RV park or shipping containers or tree houses and stuff like this. And they go on pitching this project for six months and nobody uh, buys into it. Why is that? Because that's something new. They can't wrap their head around it. But if you start your project on pitching, let's say an RV park, and you don't tell them about the other stuff until you've created the RV park and you're making money, then you have them on the hook. And then once they see success, then you can sell them on the crazy idea. There's an idea that gets you in the door and then there's a crazy idea down the road. And so start with the simplest thing that people can relate their mind to straightforward. Now I'll talk about health. We have programs, we have new workout gear, we have Pelotons, we have gyms, we have, um, you know, this and that and body wraps and, you know, injections and surgeries and pills and, you know, all these fucking things. But if you look at health at a scale, it is nothing more than putting on a pair of fucking shoes and walking and pushing and pulling. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. But we have to make sure we have the right shoes. We have to make sure we have the right gym and all this shit. What you're telling me is that you're letting your external forces dictate how you operate. I don't care if it's 20 degrees outside. I don't care if it's 120. I don't care if it's raining. I don't care if it's snowing. I don't care if it's icy. I don't care if it's sunny. I'm working out. I've removed the excuses because it's super simple. Put on my shoes and take one step after the other. That's life in general. It's summed up as simple as that. But what you don't know that you're doing is subconsciously you're creating the hurdles to jump over so you can give yourself an out. What? Do you get what I'm saying? It's one of those things where, man, come on. Like you can hear 
some business pitches and you're like, I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. But you have to get everything boiled down to the simplest execution. And then once you start predicating and you start getting success on those things, and you can start adding complexity onto it once your systems are dialed in. And that's for life, health, business, everything. And so it's the same way I view my relationships. If this is too much of a drag for me, if there's too much friction, if there's too much negative energy, I don't want to be a part of it. I'm very simple. Treat people well. We're good, man. Properly communicate. We're good. Done. I'm telling you right now, take a look at your schedule, your business plans, your life, your health routines, your morning routines, and understand that you are creating complexity where there doesn't need to be it. And you're convoluting what you're doing. And it's making it extremely hard to understand how you're even doing it. It's all about consistency and simplicity. Hope everybody got some value from this and we'll see you next time. Thank you for listening to Construct Your Life with Austin Lenny. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to rate, review, subscribe, and pay it forward by sharing with a friend. Most importantly, take this opportunity to start constructing your life by taking immediate action on what you learned. For show notes, resources, and more information on one-on-one coaching with Austin, visit constructyourlifepodcast.com.